Big salute, big salute, big salute, big salute. Hold on, let me get my hat. Big salute to all my loved ones, support goons, support squad. Big brother them. Trapflix.com, trapflix.com, trapflix.com. Big salute, big salute. Big salute to all my righteous revolutionaries. Oh, have you registered for trapflix.com yet? If not, make sure you go register right now. So we could, uh, that's another platform for us righteous revolutionaries to keep this revolutionary message revolutionary strong. Keep us pushing, baby. Keep us pushing. This, 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 this is a baby platform, but we going to crank this thing up, boy. Hey, Traplex.com is going up, baby. Yeah, it's going up. And if you're interested in the um, investment options, we do have the trap coins available for, for all your investment needs. Just make sure you uh, check the description below. Tap in, tune in, all my deeds, all my details are in the description below. I got something good for y'all today. This is a little motivation for my righteous revolutionaries. You know what I'm saying? Um, paying homage to our ancestors. Yeah, because the righteous, the righteous revolution been going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's just our turn to keep it going strong. Don't you like it when it's your turn in line? Yeah, it's our turn in line, y'all. So, you know, we got to do what we do. We got to do what we do. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Hannibal Walker. Oh, for uh, YouTube, StreamYard, and everybody else, this is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Entertainment and educational purposes only. Let go. Hannibal Barker was born in 247 BCE as a son of the Empire of Carthage, which encompassed all of North Africa and southern Spain. Hannibal was the son of the great Carthaginian military leader Hamilcar Barker. Hamilcar led the Carthaginian forces in the First Punic War against Rome. Carthage suffered an embarrassing loss to the Romans, which included the loss of control of the city of Sicily. It is widely stated that as a youth, Hannibal's father instilled within him an unrelenting. Could this be why Rome whitewashed all the history? Could this be why Rome keep their foot on the black man in Africa's neck? And when I say Rome, you know that that's where the home base of the uh, the Holy Roman Empire, Catholic Church. Yeah, let's dig in. Think hatred for Rome. When Hannibal, well, the Punic Wars was that the first battle between Africa and Europe? Could that be? But with 17, Carthage was able to conquer Hispania, which is the modern day Iberian Peninsula. During the conquest, Hamilcar drowned and Hannibal's brother Hasdrubal the Fair became the commander of the army. This victory was able to expand the Carthaginian empire who remained a formidable opponent for Rome. Hasdrubal further strengthened Carthage by intermarrying the Carthaginians with the conquered Iberians. Okay. In 221 BCE, Hasdrubal was murdered and Hannibal was elected to assume command of the army at the age of 26. Hannibal's first campaign was the capturing of the city of Salamanca in 220 BCE. Carthage's next conquest was of Saguntum, which was a close ally of Rome. Hannibal's attack on Saguntum was considered to be a violation of a peace treaty signed between Hasdrubal and Rome. They demanded that Carthage expel Hannibal from the empire. As Hannibal's fate was being decided, he continued to conquer territories, expanding Carthage as far as he could. He ain't stop. He oh, oh y'all plotting on me? Well, I ain't stopping. I'm smashing everything, wiping all noses, wiping all noses. Let's go. Hannibal's brother was appointed as a military commander on the Iberian Peninsula. This move helped the forces of Carthage conquer the Iberian Peninsula as a whole. Hannibal was determined to bring war to Rome. He remembered what his father told him about the Romans, so he launched a military campaign. See, he instilled it in his son to be a conqueror. Yeah, go, go against the enemy by all means. Yeah, yeah. We got to bring that back. What happened, y'all? Can we bring that back? Can we, do you remember, do you, you know what the stories of what our ancestors went through? Yeah, let's fire that fire back up. I, 
His conquest of the Iberian Peninsula was an example of his advancement towards conquering the Roman Empire. Because Hannibal conquered the Iberian Peninsula, the Roman government declared war against Carthage. This was the beginning of the Second Punic War. Hannibal and his forces invaded Italy in a surprise attack on the Romans who expected an attack at Sicily. His next move was to cross the Pyrenees Mountains. Before he could cross, his army had to defeat the tribes who dwelled along the foothills of the mountains. His army crossed the Pyrenees and reached the River Rhone. Along the way, he managed to pacify the chiefs of the Gauls. This strategic move helped to stall Roman advancement against Carthage. It is said that Hannibal's army consisted of 50,000 infantrymen, 90,000 cavalry, and 37 war elephants. Next, Hannibal led his army across the treacherous Alps, which took a toll on his army. He lost a number of his soldiers and some of his battle elephants. It is said that he led 38,000 soldiers into the town of Turin, Italy. The Romans became aware of the allegiance between the Gauls and Carthage and sent Only the strong survived. He still went through. Troops of 80,000 to defeat Carthage and the Gauls. Their plans were spoiled because Hannibal was able to defeat the forces. The victory gave the Gauls confidence in Hannibal, so they volunteered to join his army. The Gauls were able to add the strength to the army that Hannibal lost crossing the Alps. His army was able to defeat the Romans a second time in the battle at the River Trebia. In 217 BCE, Hannibal and his army crossed the Apennines Mountains and conquered modern-day Tuscany. During these battles, he lost one of his eyes, but not his hatred for Rome. The Romans retaliated with their own attack against Carthage, who was defeated once again at the Tresemine Lake. As Hannibal's army crossed... He lost the eye and still kept going. Fuck that eye. I got death on my mind. Conquer. Command and conquer. Lego. The Apennines for a second time. Roman forces attacked Iberia and cut off his access to his allies and supplies. In the city of Cain, Roman forces numbering 80,000 attacked Hannibal's army. Despite being outnumbered, Hannibal's forces were able to once again gain victory over Rome. This victory caused Roman allies to pledge their allegiance with Hannibal. The Italian city of Capua became Hannibal's new military base. In 214 BCE, the city of Syracuse became a city of Carthage. 215 BCE, King Philip V of Macedonia pledged his alliance with Carthage. I know that. The Romans were able to secure a decisive victory against Carthage. Hannibal was not able to capture the port cities of Cumane and Puteoli. His army was not able to receive reinforcements or supplies. Carthage was losing resources and allies fast. The cities of Syracuse and Capua were regained by the Romans, further weakening Hannibal's forces. Their four-year campaign in Italy was taking a toll on its soldiers. Hannibal sent for his brother located in Iberia to help him fight. Unfortunately, Hannibal's brother was defeated crossing the Alps. Rome was able to reclaim Iberia as well as again an ally in the king of Namibia. Namibia attacked Carthage, forcing Hannibal to bring his troops home to defend his land. A final battle was fought between Rome and Carthage at Zama in 202 BCE. The Carthaginian forces were weakened from the Punic War, and they fell in defeat to Rome. A peace treaty was signed in 201 BCE, which forced Carthage to compensate Rome for the damages its forces caused. Also, the treaty forced Hannibal to resign as the leader of the Carthaginian army. Hannibal was able to instill terror into the Roman people. Rome was the world power at that time, and Carthage was a thorn in their side. The size and the arrogance of Rome caused them to underestimate the brilliance of Hannibal. He is considered one of the most brilliant military leaders in history. His crossing of the Alps was a feat many have envisioned but never attempted. Hannibal was determined to keep his promise to his father and annihilate Rome. Though he did not reach his ultimate goal, he accomplished more than many military leaders could only dream of. His empire covered North Africa, Spain, and parts of Italy. Hannibal was a true African warrior and a skilled politician. He will never be forgotten within the pages of history. Hannibal was able to show Rome the full potential of his African might. Hannibal Bark of the Great, we proudly stand on your shoulders. Thanks. For more information, please visit www. Big salute, Hannibal. Hannibal Barker, big salute, one of our mighty ancestors, one of our mighty ancestors, a great military mind. So big salute. Yeah, it's Black History Month, so yeah, I got to come with the up-to-date news, and then, you know, I got to bring some Black History facts, something for us to be proud of, you know, because we, we, got, we, got we got to bring the Black power back, y'all. 
We got we got things to be proud of. We got people to be proud of. We got ancestors to represent. And our ancestors weren't no flukes, weren't no punks. Yeah, our ancestors, they ain't been, they ain't foe. They went out to the death. So we all must be like that. And if, and if they claiming a revolution and they ain't like that, then you know all skin folk ain't kin folk. And y'all know the ones I'm talking about. Them agents of confusion, them agents of chaos. But we ain't we gonna get on that. We're gonna try to go on around them. Matter of fact, y'all let me know in the comments y'all reaction. Y'all leave me a comment. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a, a reaction and point out a few agents in our community. I've been naming them, but I, I might need to do a reaction and we'll talk about some of these agents that's amongst us, you know, that ain't making nothing shake. They ain't getting their Hannibal on. Yeah, get your Hannibal on if you a real righteous revolutionary. Get your Hannibal on, baby. So big salute y'all. Love y'all, man. Prepare the best you can. Make sure you go register. Trapflix.com. 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 And um, hit my details. Check my description for my details, my contact info. If you're interested in them Trapflix coins. Yes, they selling. They selling. Trapflix going up. Big salute y'all. Love y'all, man. Let's go, righteous revolutionaries. Let's go. Aye.